well deserved sleep. <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Hey, what is going on guys? It's Ben from the Parker Brothers and welcome back to another fishing video. Today you join me again down Big Hayes at the top of Manor Complex. I'm here with T, one of my best friends and also someone you've definitely, definitely seen on the channel before. We call him Mr. 30 because every time he goes, he seems to catch a 30 pounder. He's been up here the last couple of weekends to be fair, T loves it at this place and he's had a couple of 30s and some other ones in the mix and I'm sure later on in this video I'll touch on them and put some pictures up on the screen. I keep looking over there because I've got a rod on the margin, the rods are already out and I've just seen a fish flick on that margin spot. So the plan of action is, we're here for the next three days, I'm absolutely buzzing and um, I can't wait to be brutally honest with you. We've actually got six days, we do three days here. We leave early Monday and then we're heading to Burners Hall, which again will be a separate video guys, but will be the video after this. So like I said, I'm gonna take you on my journey and hopefully we can get some absolute rhinoceropigs on the bank. Obviously we're gonna be using Parker baits and um, we've got a variety of bait with us. We've got some sauce, magic dust, some dumbbells um, and some 80 mils as well. And I've um, at the moment, I've also got a little bit of naturals with me as well, if I'm brutally honest with you. So there it is. What I will say is, guys, before I start this video, give us a thumbs up, make sure you comment down below, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward, and hopefully, oh, just had a beep, and hopefully I can bring you an absolute banger. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't take him long. Did not take him long. Well, say that again, mate. Is that what you want, yeah? Yeah, all right, let's set them up. Bear with me. All right, I'll leave you guys with him. Where are they, mate? <laughs> oh, it's a nice one. That's a good one, mate. It's a nice starting one. It's a nice 20 as well. It's a nice colour as well. Yeah, it's a nice one. Bang. Some good shots. Hey, so there it is, mate. First one for you then? Yeah, man, first one. Just in the margin, a little fruit and nut wafter. Happy days. Yeah, happy days, mate. It's a banger as well. What did it weigh in the end, mate? Would you, would you say 23? 22 and three quarter. 22, three quarters. Some lovely little scales at the back there. It's got like four big apple slice scales and definitely one to look out for in the future. Fair play to you, mate. See you, mate. Happy days. Happy days. More. Well, T's certainly at it again. Typical T fashion, getting one early. Just letting this one go. What a banger, mate. First fish, you can't complain with that, can you, really? Yeah, happy days. Happy days. Oh, look at that. Done that before. 
for, mate, ain't you? <laughs> Banger, get in there, son. Fist bump. Right, so very quickly before you uh, cast this out, then, mate. So, how are you fishing? What bait, etc.? I'm fishing wafters on a Ronnie rig, the hybrid stiff boom. Yeah. Got the old fruit and that wafter on there. Happy days. And she seems to be doing the biz, mate. <laughs> and did you, when when you fish this, do you put a bag on as well, or is it you, you just fish straight up? Is that what you just add it on a single, or did you fish something with it? I fish a little PVA mesh with it. A little bit of PVA, what, a little PVA bag with Yeah, a little two crush boilie of fruit and that. Okay. Just for one bite, so it's one quick suck straight in there. Game over. And there That's it is. you doing it. Look at that. Again, terrible, terrible video in there on my part. But what a beautiful rig, mate. Right, well, get it out. Catch a nosser. <laughs> so what I found quite interesting is, as T said to me, I said, so on that on that rod, obviously you know well, the rig he's fishing, and obviously the bait he's caught the fish on. But what he's been doing is he's been putting, he's making a nice mix. He's got a mix there of fruit and nut and some sweet corn in there and a few other goodies. And then all he's done is, it's just put, this is this was prior to the fish. He put one spom out, and he's done that on the margin. Now a lot of people obviously hand it out. I think it was quite interesting how we how we sort of done that with the spom, so it keeps that bait quite contained in a smaller area than I guess if you're throwing it by hand. But again, definitely a tip that I'm probably going to use in my own fishing now, which I thought was quite interesting him doing that. And uh, well, obviously it's done him a fish. It's a fair play. Wow, you can't grumble with that. An early bite for tea, and to be honest, I just had a real random drop back on my right hand rod. Beep, beep, beep. Went over, and the bobbin's on the ground, so I've just got my got my, my spool and twisted it up tight. Left it for a couple of minutes. Got paranoid, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to actually change it. So I've changed it, put it back out of the pole again, and that's where I am now in the video. To be fair, um, so a little bit more of an insight um, onto the reasons why me and tear in these swims. Now, to be honest, to begin with. And we said we're going these two pegs it's the only two pegs left on the lake so we're jumping in these two pegs every it's rammed it's rammed it's bank holiday by the way as well easter bank holiday and um turn up like i said this morning every single peg thing so these two pegs are right down the end in the bay now i've done a video with kevin bow now you if, if, if you haven't seen that video guys go over to the channel and check it out it's on big haze and i was fishing in the bay and i actually had a few as well and it's a really good session so what I said to T is, and T's also done well down there over the last couple of weeks fishing the opposite side. So what we've said is, we just went down and spoke to the people and they said to us, look, we're leaving about one o'clock tomorrow. So I thought, oh, brilliant. So what we do is we'll burn a day off and then we'll go and then pegs tomorrow. But obviously now we've had a bite within the first sort of couple of hours, you know, it's, it's almost like perfect, really. I wasn't expecting that at all. So obviously now what we'll do is we'll gauge over the duration. Myself and T will read the water, lock onto the water, and also see what basically what's going on. And if we have a few fish overnight, then we'd never, if, you, if you've had some fish, you'd be silly to move, you'd be stupid to move. So yeah, that's where we're at now. Um, I'm just going to hold off on the camera sort of work today and just enjoy having a social tea. It's been a while to be fair. The last time me and, me and T were out were um, Oxley's and again that's another good video guys. Um, so yeah it's nice to get out of tea. I'm going to sit back now, have a few drinks of water <laughs> and enjoy this beautiful sun. I need to get a cap and on that note there will be some Parker Bates um, headwear if you like coming soon but enough said about that. See you in a bit. <laughs> you lost it oh no mate which one was that left hand oh gutting i'm laughing because we were in there having a chat just setting up her t's instagram and <laughs> his rod absolutely melts off so he's run out the bivvy what was that on then mate uh that one there is on a little fruit and that 14 mil pop up Right, okay, and, and that was off the island again, sort of just yeah. off the island, that one. <laughs> yeah, so again, this is T's, again, typical T fashion. Typical T fashion.
So like I said, guys, I've, we, we, we were setting up his Instagram then, and um, for, 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 for months, years, I've been nagging T to get an Instagram, and he's finally, finally made one. So what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to put it at the top of the screen now. Make sure you go over and give him a follow. I greatly appreciate it. Absolutely top-class angler. Wherever he goes, he's always catching 30s. He puts me to shame most of the time, I'm not going to lie. And obviously, he's a Parker Bates ambassador. Hopefully, hopefully, you can get this back out on the money, mate, and nick yourself a nosser. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's T's rod back out on the money there. Took him a few, a few goes, but this is what I love about T. He's not one of these people that will just go, that will do. You know, if it's not 150%, he reels it back in, makes another bag, although that's very time-consuming and annoying sometimes, he does it. And I think that's why he picks up these better fish every single time we seem to go. So what we've done is... We've set up uh, tees, we've got our obviously bed chairs out, obviously what our plan of action was is to move up the pegs further up. It's, um, it's, I've done well there in the past and so has T. Um, so we've just got our bed chairs in there, proper raw today. And I'm not going to be setting up anything over here, I'll probably move that over there so it's safe tonight right in front of the bivvy. But there's my rods. So at the moment I've got one down here. I think it's an OG fish. Put one down here on the margin with more naturals over it. And I was playing about with a zig on the middle rod, but now I've actually dropped onto the bottom because of T's having them on the bottom. Clearly, that's two runs he's had now on a peg that we didn't think we were even going to get a bite in. So I've dropped over a single bag of um, OG fish 18 mil, and I'm literally fishing at the tip of my finger now. And I've actually catapulted out probably about 25 baits over the top of it. And again, exactly the same to what I'm fishing. So there it is. That's the update for now. We're coming up to sort of like 2 o'clock now. Time to chill and hopefully catch some more nosses. I'll see you in a bit. Well, it's just coming up to 5 o'clock now and not, not really much to report. But only um, just up from us. I would say the tee up from uh, tee up. The swim up from tea. Um, they've just had one. They look like a 20 pounder, I think. So um, nothing too ginormous, but it's a fish, so that's good because if fish start sort of popping up now, because you've also hear or heard a lot of disturbance over the other side, people sort of talking about fish and stuff. So I think someone's had something over there as well. So five o'clock. Hopefully that, like I said, the fish are moving in. They come in, they get their heads down, and um, hopefully me and T can get some nosses tonight in this sort of swim. Um, like I said, a the sort of nicking swim. So if we can get one, like T said, if we can get one each by the time we move in, they have pegs tomorrow. Then it was, you know, it was worth getting in these pegs. So one for me, and if T gets enough one, he's smashing it. Um, and then obviously we move tomorrow. If we have a good few, then maybe we stay in the pegs, but. That's the update for now, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, so we're having an early dinner, and um, last week when I was fishing with Charlie, Jay popped down to the lake and he got me this. So him and his dad got me these. I got me a teriyaki one and this. Katsu curry rice. Now, I've never tried this before, so I'm going to give that a bash. Me and T, aren't we, mate? <laughs> then we got... Um, naan breads, T's good at this, he's, he, I always forget, but the naan breads are absolutely banging. And also, we've got some leftover dip as well, so that's going to go nice. And also, some sketi as well, look at that. Absolutely lovely. T want a fan of the sketi, but I said, no, 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 I want some sketi with my dinner. And also, <laughs> look at this. For months, months and months and months, I've not had a knife and fork. And now... Okay, you got me these, thank you very much. Much appreciated, and look at that. It's even got a carpy carp on it, look at that. And T's got exactly the same set as well, and it comes in a nice little um, packet there, look. Happy days, right, rice is on. It's looking good. Well, I've just tasted some of that rice, absolutely lovely. <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is what we do, we put them in a, in a arm like that fold it over. Bosh. Probably should turn that now. Warm them through. Absolutely banging. Right, we're going to enjoy this with a view. Come on the car.
Oh, you won't believe this. I was standing there, and obviously directly in front of the swim in the bay, so over to our left, opposite where I was fishing last time, there is fish coming out. There must be, it, it seems like 90% of the lake's population is in that corner. So I've looked at T and my teammate, we need to go over there. Nagged him a little bit, and then he sort of swayed, so we're packing up everything. We're going over there with a rod each. We're gonna sleep underneath the stars. Tomorrow's the full moon phase, and obviously you got tonight, the run up to it, and the days after are always absolutely bob on. We just, you physically couldn't ask for better time. So we're heading down there now. I think that's our best chance of a bite. They're lumping out, they're lumping out. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So we're going, going over there, biting the bullet, packing up everything. I'll see you in a bit and I'll touch base over there. <laughs> Come off. <laughs> so we're packing up. <laughs> and it's price screened off. You couldn't write it, could you? Oh. We're still going around. There's tons of fish around there. <laughs> Look at that, it's a weird old shape thing. Talk to me then, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a bit of a result. Literally just about to reel my rod in for a move, and then this one's popped up. So how big was it, mate? 22 on the nose, didn't yeah, we say? 22 on the nose. <laughs> Proper rhino head, mate, look at it. Go on, bruv, smashed it. Oh, Pop it back in. <laughs> Fella. Probably what you give it, ten pound if that. Yeah, it's a small one. A small one, but we're gonna get him back without making too much commotion and obviously get the rod straight back out on the money. And then we're gonna head over here to where our beds are. Like I said, we're out in the stars tonight. Fish over there, beds there, loads of carp out there. Come on the nosses. So there it is, first one for me in this little uh, bay area and it made it all worthwhile. I'm a little bit half asleep if I'm honest, I've just, just got my head down and the rod absolutely tanked off with this one. Another 20 and this one was 22 pound on the nose. Nice few scales at the back of it. <coughs> and that's pretty similar to the other side, I'm not gonna show you the other side guys. OG fish wafters with a tiny little bit of yellow on top of it doing the do and then obviously drop with a pole but look at that what a banger thank you very much mr mirror and hopefully the first of many ta yeah you know <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm playing now i don't know
there. There's a fish down there feeding. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Wow, it's absolutely mental. There's a fish all over down there. Got fish down here. And what I've done is that rod is literally there and there's fish all in there. We just caught. <laughs> yeah, no. So T's been he's been sleeping over there, and I've been plugging away on that margin. So I've literally just redone that rod. Ten minutes later, it's howled off. It's a nice one. So um, let's get this one out. And I think the lady over there is moving. So I think I'll be going over there very soon. Oh hey, wow. Oh, here it is. Just under twenty pound. I want to get that rod back out, ideally nick another one before we move. Come on baby, look at that. Yeah, nice one. Some nice scales on it and that. And like I said, 10 minutes after putting the rod on, out, sorry, and the fruit and nut does it again. Thank you very much, Mr. Mirror. Let's get you back. Oh, well, we're on the move again, and um, T's gone around with the rods. I've already done a run. The lady that was in there, lovely lady, she's come out now and let us in. The gentleman's not going till one o'clock, and then T's going to jump in there. But yeah, as you can see, it don't take long when you go light. All the rest of the stuff, like I said, we had a rod each yesterday, the essentials, and just literally come round. So, last little bits now, I'll grab this, head round, and I've also flicked some bait in. So, last night, there was a massive amount of fish, not on the feeder, sort of just off it, and just off the reed line. So, what I've done is, I've, I've went round there, I've probably put about two and a half, three kilo of bait, dumbbells, and the fruit and nut, and the OG fish, all around that area. So, I'm definitely going to put a rod on that tonight, and I think a plan of action is then to put four rods in a line across here, because the primary, most of the shows, were in this region. So if they repeat that tonight, there's a, the full moon is tonight, the face ends tonight, so it's as full as full as it can be. So, oh, you know what they say, it'd just be lovely to catch something like the White Lady or something really nice. One of the good names in here would be fantastic. But anyway, I'm not going to waffle, I'm going to grab the stuff now, load the barrel up and head round. All the gears round, the tea's just finishing up now. So this is the swim. And a swim you definitely would have seen on the channel before. It was myself and Kev. I was in this peg, and Kev was in the one up. We, had a, we both had an absolutely brilliant session. If you haven't seen that guy, head over to the channel. But that's where I've put the bait, just in front of that tree. Probably a rod length off, not too tight because I want to pull him out and get him confident dropping down and feeding. <sighs> Exciting stuff, it really is. If the fish move in here this evening, it is going to go off with that moon. <sighs> So plan of action, I haven't put the rods out yet, the rods aren't in the water, I've just set my bank sticks up, but over there obviously I've put the bait in where I've said, I've put bait in over there, spreaded a big bed of the uh, the dumbbells in the OG fish, the OG fruit and I soaked in the fish sauce and it absolutely stinks, so I've spread that all over there and I've also went over there and put hemp on its own over there. In a second, where we saw the fish, which is six and a half wraps, and I found the spot, there's a nice hard spot there, although it's pretty sort of similar across the board out there. Sort of the tree, this tree here. So I'm gonna fish one side of it, T's gonna fish the other side of it, and we're gonna give them the bait, you know, I'm gonna give them quite a bit of bait on that. And uh, put all our eggs in one basket, so I'm gonna fish two rods on the spot very tight probably your foot off each other and then obviously the left hand rod down there so that's where we're at now next point of call get some bait out wow that's all three rods out well happy then they're looking sexy look at them now to have a tidy up i've got to set the bivy up quick i was going to do it underneath the stars but we are here for another 48 hours so i think i'll just set the bivy up although it's lovely the wind's trickling in beautiful physically couldn't ask for better conditions and uh, there's T set up just there so time to get the bivy set up so we've got a little bit more order in here now bivy set up like I mentioned earlier rods out and it's looking absolutely mega out there time to sit back and enjoy the afternoon oh, lovely jubbly mate wow a little check-in really it's 
half past three and we've just ordered a takeaway um, they actually got a hut on the site here <coughs> excuse me up by the shop and um, they deliver so they've delivered down to this room we've got a whole variety of things coming absolutely starving so we've really treated ourselves to be honest we um our annual thing what we do is what we, we, when we come fishing we do a tenners in each so we put a tenner in and we clown the slots and um, we only just won and won 400 quid so that just went to went to plan massively to be honest and we're just saying now like, oh well, okay we'll have a few bits of food <laughs> so now i'm really looking forward to that um i redone my middle rod and it went out absolutely like a dream and i mean I didn't use a clip but I slowed it down and it sort of just went punched up against the side of the reeds and it's probably about that far off and I've already had a few single liners on that as well. I walked around there about 20 minutes ago and there was fish all in that, all in them reeds just behind it. So you're talking about three foot away from my, um, my rig so I'm definitely in the zone. I just walked around there then and there's nothing there now. It's weird, they sort of come up, go down, come up, come down. You just sort of, and as throughout the day, I've been going over there and having a look and that's what they've been doing. You go over, you see nothing, and you go over, see 20 of them. It's, it's, it's crazy, it's been absolutely mad, but I'm really looking forward to, the, to this evening. The swim is prepped, the bait is out. I think the fish are gonna move in again like they did yesterday. It's a full moon. Oh, wouldn't it be lovely to get a couple of 30s? It really, really would, that would top it off for me. Um, I'm not back on Todba for a while now, so it'd be nice to sort of get a few big ones. It really, really, really would. So, fingers crossed. Looking forward for food, and again, I'll keep in the loop with that, get some video of that, guys, when it turns up. And um, like I said, all prepared, myself and T, for the night. <sighs> Exciting stuff. Wow, we've just literally seen our first show just there, and our baited spot is here so that is absolutely brilliant news i've punched my middle rod i'm going to fish two over there but i've punched my middle rod over there because i've just walked around and seen a load of fish and there's a big white fish in there as well and i know there's a ghost in here called the white lady and i wouldn't mind that fish it might be that fish i'm not 100 percent and then the food's just turned up now what have we got here mate <laughs> what have oh my god so we've got uh chips chicken wings coleslaw more chicken wings more chicken wings what are the chips like bang what else we got potato wedges yeah some chunky chips as well chunky chips jeez man i'm gonna turn into a rhinoceros pig i think <laughs> absolutely banging right so we're gonna tuck into this now guys rods out with a view life honestly could not be better come on the carp can we just take a minute here? State of that. Absolutely beautiful. It's massive. Slowly getting through it. Onion rings are found underneath there. Coleslaw. Oh, mate. Nosser pig. Well, the first nosser of the evening. Tease in. Absolutely melted off that did, didn't it, T? Feel like a good in? Oh my god, stripping line off your lip. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I think I'll be picking me up. Hopefully, it doesn't pull my lines up, but he's definitely touched me there, it's all right, but yeah, there it is, there's this line there. I'm not having any more beep, so fingers crossed. Let's go back round. I think you got round it, mate. Good yeah? Might be a catfish. Might be a catfish. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope so. Fruit and nut? Yeah, mate. Happy days.
Right, I'm going to turn you off now then guys and hopefully we can get this one in the net. Well, I'm absolutely gutted, but it's just come off, isn't it, mate? <laughs> it's, oh, no. I'm gutting. Oh, well. Thought it was a good one as well. <laughs> you know, dobbing around. Oh, it's what it is. Get the rods back out of the money, keep positive, and hopefully that's the first of many. <laughs> Right, wow. Well. I'm into fish number three, it's the left hand rod. And it's absolutely melted off. As I was redoing the other rod, funnily enough. But fingers crossed I can get this one in. And hopefully this is the first of many tonight. Come on the carp and come on. This one was on the OG fish. Happy days. Well, I can't quite believe my luck. Um, after <laughs> after prepping the spot earlier, the second I got in, I put bait on the spot. A big bed of OG fish, OG fruited nut as well. And look at that, 35 pound 12 guys. What an absolute monster. If that ain't a rhinoceros pig, I don't know what is. That fell to an OG fish bottom bait with, the, with a little, little tiny topper on it. And look at the results. Oh, I am absolutely blown away. <laughs> what a fish! Yes! So it'd be rude not to show you the other side. Oh, there she goes. Look at that for a fish. What an absolute banger. Oh, I'm struggling. She's a beauty. <laughs> Get in there. Thank you very much, Mr. Mirror. <laughs> what a nosser so what i didn't tell you is guys i've already got the rods back out look at me absolutely covered i've just literally let that fish go as you've seen <coughs> excuse me oh look at this i keep getting liners on that middle rod i actually had a double tape when i had the big one I've got another one in the net here. I think it's a 20. I'm gonna get it out now and show you. Oh, happy days. Come on, the OG fruited nut that one was, and the OG fish was on. <laughs> the nosso I had. Right, well there it is guys. This is the, the part of the double take. He's a lively one, it's about 18 pound. I reckon it's just under 20. I'm not gonna weigh it. I'm gonna get it back straight away sit back watch the rods and hopefully like i just said these are the first of many and the parker baits can start nailing them come on you good now okay did you get a picture might as well get a picture it was recording yeah yeah well means here chilling it's absolutely going off over here there's fish showing out here there's fish showing just off the island the spot, take my hand down, the spot out here, sort of there, is absolutely alive out there. You can't see it on the camera, but it's like spitting, it's like slick coming up, It's you can just sort of see it, but absolutely going off. And then down here is where I had to fish. And again, I'm glad I didn't fish off the um, feeder, but what I'll do is I'll touch on that more tomorrow where I was fishing and what I was catching on, etc. Rigs. But mate, what a session to begin with so far. So you keep them coming now. Oh, mate, he's there running over the back. But yeah, I don't think it's going to be long, and I think one will either be me or T. Mate, a fish is just shown right on the island. And over there, it's mental. Flop, just there. This is what I mean. There's so many fish down here. Oh, mental. Come on the carp. Well, it looks absolutely mental out there in the distance. Full moon at its peak. <sighs> Hopefully, then bigger ones slip up tonight. We get a few thirties underneath our belt. If I turn you around over here. Look at that sky, pinky over the back there, absolutely beautiful. 
pull your back round again. Again, there's fish showing all over here, really. And there's also a lot showing in between the island and the left hand side there. See you in a bit. Now it's ripped off again and uh, I've managed another 20. This was off the spot in front of me though. And um, proper long, 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 long thing. Look at the length of that. <laughs> so what was it, T, did you say 20? Uh, just under 24 and a half. Yeah, just under 24 and a half. And another scaly banger, or well, a few scales on it, but what a lovely fish. Hopefully the camera's getting that, there you go. That's a bit better. That was on an OG fish, bottom bait, with a little topper. Doing it again, thank you very much. Right, let's get this one back. Rods are already back out on the money. Fish number five, hopefully many more. Get in there. It is going off, middle rod absolutely tore off into action on the baited spot where I've put most of the bait. And I've got another 20 in there. Right, first priority is getting that rod back out on the spot. And then I'll show you the fish. I'll see you in a second. Oh, probably one of the oddest shaped carp I've ever caught. <laughs> Bit of a funny old tail, no? But again, on that baited spot. I haven't got a rod back out, I thought I'd quickly show you. But what was it, 20, 20, just under 23? Yeah, 22 and 3 quarter. 22, 3, three quarter. Oh, brilliant. Fish number six, thank you very much. Happy days. Half past ten, a little check in. It's really light out there, it's beautiful. But, um, yeah, six fish now. Biggest 35, 12. Come on the carp, and obviously I'll keep you posted if I get any more runs and stuff, but I don't think it's going to be long guys, I reckon I'm going to have a few more tonight. <sighs> Exciting stuff. There's a Bosch. <laughs> so we're over in T-Swift. <laughs> Look at the state of that, scales coming out of scales. <laughs> That's that mate, that looks like the one Kev had last week. Really does. Beautiful fish. <laughs> right, well there it is. What, num what, what number is this? Uh, I think this is number four. Number four, and it was um, just under 29 pound, wasn't it? Yeah man, 28 and a half. 28 and a half pound mate, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and it's the same fish. Kevin Bonecourt on a video that we've done up here a few weeks back and if you haven't seen that guys go over to the channel the fruit and nut again mate yeah man you know doing it again <laughs> smashed it fair play let's see the other side and bosh that is the other side just as beautiful yeah, man, you know. what an absolute banger mate and it give you a good good scrap as well didn't it yeah yeah really yeah, did right well let's get this one back get that rod back out on the money and hopefully this is the first of many mate yeah you know <laughs> well, i'm back in my bivy now it's now 20 past 11 as if T's just went and caught the same fish kevin caught i can't believe that i honestly can't believe that guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the picture up on the screen now of both fish so you can see that is that's funny that because it was a couple of weeks ago and the thing is that fish is put on a couple of pound as well i think kev had a 26 something and that was uh 28.8 so cannot grumble with that at all so time to sit back well actually time to sit back time to try and get my get some shut eye i need to try and get some sleep i'm knackered um get some sleep for a couple of hours and then sort of maybe top up in a couple of hours and go from there but anyway i'll keep you posted and i'll uh, see you in a bit fish number seven probably seven not too sure it's got me there got me another 20 pound now i would imagine um middle rod absolutely tore off you can see that full moon beautiful um but yeah, what I'm probably going to do is, guys, get a gauge of how big this one is and then um, basically get a rod straight back out. 
fucking I'm dealing with that rod. And then the other rod goes. <laughs> so now I've got one in there and one in there. <laughs> oh god. Right, yeah, I'm gonna deal with this in a second. Right, all three rods back on the money, it's taking me a while. This one here, I've come up with the agreement with I say that's about 18 pounds, I'm gonna let him go. <coughs> T's got a banging headache as well, but that's him. Let me just turn you out. Go on, mate, you all right? Right, that's him done. That's the first one. And this one, I'm going to get out and have a little weigh, so give me a few minutes. And yeah, this one, so I've just weighed it, and it was just over £20, literally £20 and 5 ounces. So, again, not going to get her out, guys. T's in bed. There you go, gives you a good gauge of what that one looks like. Very plain and just one single scale there in the middle. But anyway, priorities are get some bait out now, keep the fish here and keep them nosses coming in. Let's get you back. So what I'm going to do is now, I've got a little fruit enough wafter on over there. This is the chop straight in the back. I'm going to go around and just handful half of it in, little handfuls, little golf ball size. Breaks up, but drops to the bottom, lovely. It makes minimal disturbance as opposed to on my other rod, obviously I'm putting out bait with the spawn. So I'm going to go and do this first, put a few handfuls out over the top of my bait. Come back, top up with five to ten spawns. Because it's been a while, I think I need to get a bit more bait out there now. And hopefully keep them coming. I'll keep you posted later on guys, but that's where I'm at for now. Well, it's just gone absolutely crazy. I've just lost one on that right hand rod, which is the first one I've lost. In there, I've got a common, which I'm gonna give about 15 pounds. So I'm gonna let that go now. I literally just left them in there to show you. Come on, mate, turn them out. It's all right, mate. Let's get you gone. Lovely, he's gone. Like that. <sighs> I've got a 30 in there. I've got a 30 in there, so I'm going to get that out now and show you. I'm absolutely buzzing. Fish number 10. Well now really, when we go back, then falling in love. We don't say rising in love. Right, well, here it is, fish number 10. 34 pounds, five ounces. Arguably, nicer than the other one, to be fair. It's got a nicer colours. I'm gonna try and get her up, if she lets me. Come on, please. Oh. <laughs> right, well, there it is, guys. It's a lively one, absolutely beautiful though absolutely beautiful look at that 34 pound five fish number 10 <laughs> and it's an absolute beast oh mate i'm buzzing let me try and get her up again for you oh mate look at that what a fish what a fish corker unbelievable lost for words og fish doing it again and that was off the baited spot in front of me. Bosh. <laughs> and that there, guys, is the other side. What an absolute rhinocerpig. <laughs> get in there. And get on its back as it goes away. As it looks massive in the water.
definitely check out time for me and time to get some well deserved sleep <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys in a bit good night Right, well, you join me in the bivvy and it is now just coming up to 12 o'clock and I've just popped up the shop to top up on some mesh, some hooks in that. I've been battered the last 24 hours, so topped up now. And we also got a lovely wrap, didn't get any pictures of that, but I got a wrap for me and T to celebrate having a few fish. T in the end had seven last night, I've had 10, so that's 17 fish in, about, in the 24 hours, which is just crazy. Um, very, very, very good session so far and the conditions are looking spot on today as well. I'm going to continue with my um, my right hand rod and my middle rod on that middle spot and the left hand rod on the left hand spot. I've actually been done twice on that left hand rod now, if I'm honest with you. Um, but the wind's coming in, it's slightly cooler today. We're just coming out of the phase now and it's just bob on again this evening. But we've got to be off at four in the morning because we're heading to Burners Hall and I cannot wait. But again, I'll touch on that a little bit later. And um, for now, like I said, I've just got the rods back out, so it's time to lock onto the water and chill out a little bit, really. Right, well, sorry, it sort of jumped in the video a bit now. It's just, just gone three o'clock, and we can't buy a bite in the day. It's crazy. I've had a few sort of weird liners on the, on the left-hand rod down on the margin, but I thought it'd be a good opportunity now to sort of quickly touch on my rigs and also where I've been fishing and also the bait I've been putting over the top of it. So when I first got in the peg, um, there was a lady fishing here, a lovely lady she was, and um, she was fishing directly out in front and I think the sort of feeder area was not, not getting neglected, I just wasn't getting fished. So I said to her when I turned up, she's at, at this point she had a rod out, she said, oh, I've sort of had enough now, I've been here six, six days, had a few, and I'm um, quite content. So I said, well, is it all right to put some bait in? So the first thing I'd done is, is went round there, I probably two and a half kilo, something like that, the dumbbells in OG fish and OG fruit and nuts soaked in the, the Parker Baits, the sauce. And um, this was the fish sauce and I've squirted it all in and it's been soaking in there for about 24 hours, 48 hours ish, something like that, a couple of days. And I filled it in over there, over this spot. But last time I fished in this peg, I was fishing just off the feeder. But I think what has done me justice this session um, is fishing away from it. So I'm fishing about a couple of rod lengths off of this actually. As, the re as you look down the reed line, it kicks out a bit and I'm fishing just off that and I've sort of spread the bait. And what I'm gonna do is guys, you probably see it on the screen now, the drone footage I've got of that corner and I'll circle exactly where um, I've been having them from. It has been a mixed batch, although I've had most of them from the, the, the spot in front of me, I've been having, I've had one of the big ones from the left and a few other 20s from the left. So moving on to the other two rods, so I thought I'd keep it simple, keep, keep, keep it refined and also keep it toned in just in case someone turned up on the other side, knowing that from previously being here, trying to be clever, knowing if someone gets in there it could potentially kill your fishing. So what I've done is I lined up the tree line, the tallest point in the tree in front of me, easy stuff, six and a half wraps, yes yeah, six and a half wraps just in front of me, two rods on the money, hitting clip lovely, watching the link pull out, getting that hard donk. And what I was doing is I was just absolutely filling it in. So in this particular mix, so on the left hand mix, the left hand I forgot to mention I had hemp and obviously the boilies, but I just threw the hemp out and again I squirted the flat spot on the hemp and the sauce. So over on the left hand rod, it was just boilies and hemp. On the two rods to my right, out in the middle, six and a half wraps towards that tallest point in the tree, um, I had in there both magic dust so I put half of each magic dust in um, and I've done two mixes now so I've given them quite a bit I had a bit of particle um, some hemp in there as well a mixed 
batch of boily so I've got some 18 mil fish in there um, I also had some dumbbells in there as well some in the, in the mix of the OG fish and the OG fruit and nut dumbbells mixed squirted it with the OG fruit and nut sauce added some maggots to it as well mixed it all up and I got this lovely concoction and that's what I was putting out on that spot and to be fair I give it to him when I first come in I spawned and I put about 40 spawns out I reckon on a spot I went in I thought well if I'm gonna have a big hit of fish I might as well go for it so I did put the bait on the spot and every fish I was topping up sort of five six spawns and if it went flat for a little bit every, every hour or something I would then top up with another five spawn spawns in between and that's what's sort of been happening really so that's the baiting approach um, of what I was doing on both spots and where I was fishing now what was I catching them on now in front of me here is what I've been having primarily most of them on so it's a combi setup hopefully you're seeing that guys but what I've got is, is I've got a six inch boom there um, with a tiny little ring on the end okay again hopefully you can see that and what I've done is I've um, got some supernatural there I've just folded it over looped the loop it pulled it pulled it tight and then put a little bit of putty over and I'm running about two inches there of supple braid at the end so what that does is it has that effect and it sits just lovely um, it's something that I've been playing about with and I just think it picks up them bigger fish being it's a big 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 bait rig so I've got a massive hook size 4 rigger there and what I've done is I always put a little bit of tubing on to just follow it round and just extend that eye that a little bit more to help kick the hook round and even be even more aggressive than it already is I always like to run the tubing further down that sort of far as I can get away with it but not going past the point if you were to run, run across <clears throat> and then on the end, the damage end, was an OG fish bottom bait and what I've done is there, I've been spraying the flat spot in a bag, sprinkling it with magic of dust, um, spraying the spot, flat spot in a bag, sprinkling it with magic of dust, done that a couple of times, it gets this lovely crust around it. And then on the top, a little pinky, to just, just for that visibility and that is what's been doing most of the bites to be honest and it just sits absolutely beautiful and one thing I forgot to mention there is a kicker there normally I cut the kickers right down because being that is a boom material you get that natural kick anyway but with these being that it's a longer link because I'm actually fishing probably just under 12 there inches um, with the extra additional bit of braid on the end I keep that a little bit longer so again it does that in the air obviously and then make sure that you're presentating so there it is, that's the rig that I've been having on, where I've been fishing, and like I said, um, the bait presentation and the bait that I've been using. And hopefully that gives you a little bit more of an insight and something a little bit different um, to the channel, I guess, and another way of looking at it. Normally it's just me sit here, show you the rig, show you the bait, mix it up, but obviously using the drone footage to my advantage this time, hopefully you've liked that. So there it is. I'm going to sit back now with tea, um, hopefully it goes off tonight and the fish move in on the, on the same sort of time um, they did yesterday and I think they will to be brutally honest with you, I really really do think they will tonight but like I said we've got to be off at 4 o'clock because we're heading to Burners Hall, we've got three nights on Burners Hall and that will be the video ending here but obviously there will be another video for Burners Hall and hopefully um, I've done some really good sessions on there and had a couple of 40s out of there so um, hopefully we can keep that stink going and me and T can get, grab some absolute nosses in the three nights we're there. So there it is, I'll speak to you in a bit guys. And hopefully, next time you see me, I've got an absolute nosser in the net. There's rod number one out. I've just re-spooled my whole, my whole reels as well, because the line's been on for ages. And um, the, the casting of burners can be quite a chuck. So I've redone that, it's went on absolutely lovely. First rod out, on the money. It went absolutely perfect, to be fair. First time, I couldn't have asked for more, just to the left of where. And to be honest, that there, where that hit, it's probably inches if not on the spot of where I had that 30, that first one, 35, 12 yesterday. So fingers crossed, I get a repeater last night of a different fish. That would be absolutely unbelievable in a proper red letter session. So moving on now to the other rods. I'm literally gonna um, pull them off the area for now. Um, both rods are gonna really mean let it rest for a little bit. It's gonna take me about, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes to re-spool them up, get it done nicely and without rushing. But before I do that, I'm going to bring the both rods in, put them up against the bivvy and put the bait out and just put the re re remaining bit of bait out I've got. Um, and maybe get a little bit more just for backup. Um, I think I've got a little bit, maybe a little bit in the uh, 
in the car for what I've used way more than I thought I was going to use. There's a beep. But yeah, that's the update for now. I'll see you in a bit. evening as you saw there that left hand rod absolutely cranked round um, and I saw fish I said to T there's fish over there get that rod's gonna go and I'll be damned it did a little bit darker this one number 20 but look at that what a lovely fish nice and dark across the back nice light belly something a little bit different perfect little heart shaped tail on the end there Beautiful little thing. But yeah, Rod's already back out on the money. OG Fish doing it again with a little pink topper. Come on the carp and come on the Parker Baits. Get in there. He loves a bowl. <laughs> well, we're just about to tune in to the Parker Brothers um, video. It's a Sunday, so obviously on a Sunday, the videos go live. And uh, T's, T's rod is absolutely held off. Absolutely held off. Right, I'm going to get this and get the net for him. <clears throat> get this in. Do you want me to come around here, mate? Did you see it? Yeah, it's not really. It's a common. I don't know, mate. It's a nice one. Get in there. Yes! Happy days. Well hey, so there it is, fish number eight for tea. <laughs> How big mate? About 20 pound, isn't it? Yeah, it's only a low 20. Yeah, smashed it, common. He's gonna slip this one back, OG fruit and nut, doing it again. Go on, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> this kid is on fire this evening. <laughs> Just finished the video there. Just over 100 people in the live chat. And he's into a nossa. Feel a good one? It does actually. <laughs> it does actually. Went off really quick at first. We say this about all of them, don't we? <laughs> but not this one. This one. This one's the nossa of all nossas, mate. <laughs> Come on. Right, I'm gonna put you down guys in my pocket and help T get this fish in. <sighs> Exciting stuff. Bosh, so there he is. Another low 20 on the fruit and nut. He's a lively one, so we're <laughs> gonna get him back. Happy days. Well, believe it or not guys, it's actually four o'clock. I'm starting to pack up. He's over there packing up. I've got to pack down everything. I've just tried doing an outro underneath there. Um, and then my lights just run out. So the rods are out at the moment, guys. Sorry the video's jumped a little bit. But what I will do is, when I get in my car, I'll touch base with you before I leave. Hopefully I can nick one. Come on the carp. And come on the Parker Bates. Right then guys, will you join me on the bank of burners now and um, I'm sorry it comes to an abrupt ending um, but obviously we had to leave it for, then my light then broke and then I had problems and it was just yeah a bit of a nightmare to be honest so um, both Ridge Monkey lights, tor torches stopped so I couldn't get any footage so basically hence why I'm doing it now. In the end me and T had 21 fish, uh, T had 9 20s 
Um, I had 11 fish and I think I had 6 or 7 20, something like that. Biggest 35, 12. Really, really good session. And hopefully um, the same thing happens here on Burners. And this will, the Burners video will be something that will be coming to the channel very soon, guys. So hopefully you liked the Todd Banana video. Um, I really, really do hope, really do hope you have, guys. If you have, make sure you give that thumbs up a smash for us, please. It would greatly appreciate because it, it really does help me and my brother grow our YouTube channel. And finally, guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And like I said, I'm sorry it come to an abrupt ending, but there was no other option. So there it is, guys. That is the end of this video here or at Todba Manor Fisheries on Big Haze. So there it is. I'll see you same time next Sunday, 7.30. All the best. Peace out.